hope all is well. Episode number five, man. We rocking and rolling. We a month in, man. So it's our culture, HBCU. Of course, HBCU stands for homecoming, brings culture and unity, man. We all about giving people our flowers, all about supporting our people and highlighting all HBCUs is doing a good job, man. So here today, we got the bishop in the house. Uh, unique story, because he went to two HBCUs. He ain't flunked out of them, you know what I'm saying? But he went to two of them. So he went to Bethune-Cookman and FAMU. So Bishop, tell us about yourself, what you do professionally, and uh, what led you to go to two HBCUs? Hey, man. Thank you, Mario, man. Thank you all for having me. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, man, I, I professionally, I'm a, a pharmacist. Um, I got that degree from FAMU. And now you were a street pharmacist or like a, in a hospital pharmacist? Hey man, <laughs> whatever the license, uh, <laughs> applies to, man, it, it's not too different in some instances, man, unfortunately, but, but yeah, no, man, I work in the, uh, home health division of a hospital here in Jacksonville. And, uh, and yeah, so that was my, my path to FAMU wanted to be a pharmacist, uh, Bethune Cookman, I got my biology degree there. So I did four years there. I went there first um, out of undergrad. You know, um, I, I live in Jacksonville. My a unique story. I don't know how deep you want me to go yet, but uh, but I'm, I, I live in Jacksonville and, and Daytona is in close proximity. But I was born in Tallahassee and my father lives there and he works at FAMU. He worked for FAMU for 30 something odd years. So mm. I was raised a rattler, you know. So, I mean, I have pictures at my home of at the family homecoming uh being held by muhammad ali uh at, yeah. at home and my mama's in the picture you know uh she said that if i'm three years old i'm like who is this dude man but um but so i was definitely my dad you know he's all rattler you know my mom went to edward waters in jacksonville and mm-hmm. got her master's at family so she's part rattler so she was a little more you know daytona closer to home you know they gave you more money to okay. go there uh, Cause you gotta think, man. Fam, you was college of the year. You know, they, they were a Time Time Magazine college of the year, right? For real. Ahead Harvard ahead of everybody because they had more. I guess they call it national merit semifinalists than any other school. I okay. think that's African Americans and how they score on like the PSAT or something like that. So, long story short, I they was like number two on my list because they they weren't gonna give me no money because they had so many times they was getting the best of the best, man. They were out outdueling Harvard for the top black students in America. So who your allegiance to? I'm just curious. Like you what paraphernalia is heavily yeah. at your crib? Like you put on a walk around the house in. Who your allegiance? Jesus Are you <laughs> right, right. Good question. Man. <laughs> so you know they play a game at the end of the year, the Florida Classic every year. Okay. And, uh, my, right. politically, my politically correct answer is I never lose, you know. <laughs> so you know, it's interesting, man. I, I I owe a lot to both schools, so you know it's hard to say, but um, at least on camera, you know, what I'm saying I I probably got a favorite child, but you can't tell your other children about it. Look, man, fam is so interesting. So, what you think about the girl that took the new picture by the by the by the monument? Wow, yeah. Did you see I, that? I heard about it. You know, my wife yeah. ain't let me look at that, but. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I heard about it. Hey, look, let's just say it was well represented, but it was distasteful. Um, mm-hmm. she it actually was like she was had a back turn, so you kind of saw side. Right. Um, she had a back turn in. She had a cap on. It had snakes coming out of it, so mm-hmm. it was kind of covering her backside. You saw the heels, right? And it was kind of like it was kind of dope, but had she not been by the rattler, maybe it would have been like. Okay, that's cool. Right. But by the right. Rattler, it was kind of like, oh, it's looking like that's what HBCUs do. And these right. students, I got to give it to them. They super creative, man. Like, I don't think anybody in my class ever thought to do something like that on the steps of TSU or, right. you know, in front of the shield of TSU, you know. But uh, it, it was just like, wow, man, like these kids are super bold, you know. But like Lamario said, like – uh. Uh, her followers probably went up and she probably got an only fans page now who knows you know yeah <laughs> yeah you're right man and i I think she's a smart girl from what i understand i, I forgot what her she got a maybe had a master's degree mm. in some area so i mean some people say all publicity is good publicity i don't know if i agree with that but um you know ask will smith but um 
Yeah, that part. <laughs> but but yeah, I mean, you know, it wasn't probably wasn't something that I would want my daughter. It ain't it's not anything I want my daughter to do, but mm. you know, to each his own. It brought some conversation. But you know, the news cycle's so short, nobody's really talking about that now. They're talking about, oh man, what happened to fam you in that game? So <laughs> you know, you put your business out there for eternity and you know, yeah. on to the next, you know. Man, there was one guy, his name was Lewis Rogers. One of my line, my frat brother, one of my line brothers, his stepdad, didn't work for Bethune, but he was just a guy that wanted to give back. So he basically went to all the schools and kind of recruited for the school. And uh, that's how I found out about it, me and some of my friends. And uh, we got, you know, they were they were giving out scholarships for the money was in science. I wouldn't I had no plan to be a biology major. I didn't really do that great in biology in high school, you know, yeah. but um, that's where the money was. And come to find out I was taking like advanced courses at Stanton. So when I got to Bethune, it was like a, it was the same class, right? So, you know, I kind of and and, I, and that taught me lesson number one is that it's not how smart you are, it's that you see the material first, you know. Go so that my dad, you know, that was like an L for him, though. <laughs> I bet probably because he was Mister Rattler, right? I mean, he was like, you know, he worked on the campus for years, you know, with Doctor Humphreys, and you know, but you know, what can he say? You know, it's kind of like. If your kid, if you're a FSU fan, but your kid gets a full ride to Florida, you got to get you some Gator paraf- paraphernalia, you know? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice that's how that went, man. So my HBCU story kind of started in that way, just in terms of, you know, who was showing me love at the time. HBCUs have always been important to my family. I got a couple of relatives that went to Tennessee State, right? So my my, grandfa- my grandfather's cousin, actually my dad's first cousin, she went to Tennessee State. As a result, her daughters went to Tennessee State. Um, so I have I have some family that went that way. Um, my grandfather went to Tuskegee and mm-hmm. this goes back. So my grandfather was born in 1909. My grandfather was a student of George Washington Carver at Tuskegee. For real. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's why I say my HBCU story goes back, man. I, I can't say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm poor and. And and uh, nothing wrong with that. I mean, we wasn't rich, but we weren't poor. And and I can't say I was the first one in my my point is I can't say I was the first one to go to college in my family. So my granddaddy, he he, he was the OG. He he had to leave Alabama at the age of 14. No, I, I'm sorry. Correct. It. He had to leave the state of Mississippi at the age of 14 to go to high school. Tuskegee also had a high school. So he left home at 14 because he couldn't get education in Mississippi, not even a high school education. And it was the same way in Florida. Um, but he went to Alabama and then he just stayed there for college, worked his way through, worked at the VA where they did a lot of the, I don't know if you heard of the Tuskegee experiments. Uh, yeah. so yeah. So he worked at the V he worked like a, as a truck gardener. It was like a gardener at the VA worked his way through school that that's HBCUs were ingrained in me at a young age. Cause so I heard you say frat. You, you, what yeah. frat you part of? Yes, sir. For well, first and foremost, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a child of God. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do it like the the rap the rappers on the wars, man. I gotta put that out there first. But uh I'm an Alpha Phi Alpha, yeah, uh, member of Alpha Phi Alpha. You yeah. play as undergrad? You play as yeah, that I play as undergrad at Bethune. Oh man, I'm pretty sure that was a cool experience. That was, man. That, I mean, that was like a rock star experience, man. You know, we came out, you know how when your brothers are off the yard. Yeah, and, and I came nobody, back from that was off the yard for a couple of years. So man, that yeah. that that coming out of yours, I'm sure was like you thought you was in the Beatles or something, man, you know. Listen, Alpha, the Alpha Theta uh, come out shows are still the thing to see. I and, believe it. Uh, man, it's an experience. So I can only imagine, man, what it was like. And I like hearing other people's experience that went to, you know, small HBCUs, big HBCUs, because people that I meet that didn't go to HBCUs, they're like, oh, how many was on your line? I'm like, 22. they like, How? I'm like, I went to a big HBCU. Like, you can't turn everybody down. Like, you got, you know, you got interest needs of 350 people. Like, yeah, we accepting about 25 people, you know, and Absolutely. 25, like, it's, it's about 50 that that's mad about it. But, you know, try again next year, you know. So, Absolutely. yeah, that's, that's cool to hear, man. But that was that was a great experience, man. I learned a lot doing that. And uh, I'm glad I did that undergrad at Bethune because, it, it, you know, grades definitely dropped. <laughs> you know, not only when you're online, you know, but which, well, I guess the, the statute of limitations up. So, yeah, not only when you're online, but, uh, you know, afterwards and you, you the party planning. It's a job, man. You know, you're like a party promoter. You're planning, you know, events, you know, the frat. 
Yeah, man. You know, everybody want to be the best. You know, everybody want to be the SGA president from their frat and had the men send it on lock in case your boys get in trouble in their frat. So, it, you know, it becomes like a, a, a mafia thing almost, man, you know. <laughs> But uh, but it was it was it was a great experience, man. I got lifelong friends, man, and we we still are connected, and, and you know, line brothers and brothers that brought us in, and um, people that supported us all along the way is pretty is pretty awesome, man. So wouldn't have traded that for anything, man. 